Oh, hi everybody out there, Cairns West families, Cairns West students. This is Miss Annie from the Life Skills Centre. And Miss Ajak from YouTube. We're here today because we're thinking about you all the time, we're missing you, and we thought it'd be a really nice idea if we set up an activity that you could do together as a family. Absolutely. Today we're going to be using this cookbook, it's called The Deadly Cookbook. It's from our friends in Western Australia and it has some great recipes and today we're going to be doing the tuna casserole. But before we start cooking, we need to wash our hands. For 20 seconds. Now we are going to sing the birthday song in our hands. Okay, here we go. So, Washing our hands, we might turn off that cup while that's at the back. It is nice and safe water. When I'm at home, I sing too. And I sing, I said I'm worried about a thing. Ooh, I love this song. Because every little thing is going to be alright. Do you think that's 20 seconds? I think it's been about 20 seconds. Now we wash it off, make sure you rinse your hands nice and proper. Oh, yeah. And dry them off. One now, half towel fold. Crazy. Now our hands are ready for cooking. Okay families, so we're ready to start cooking and today, as I said with the tuna casserole, these are great recipes because they're recipes that we have, uh, are able to make because we have usually lots of these things in our cupboard. So today it is a tin of tuna, some pasta, an onion and a carrot and we'll have another few vegetables as well. Now we're going to put the pasta in the pot of boiling water. It's already started to boil, we've got a tiny bit of salt in there and that will go in to cook. So while the pasta is cooking, we're going to dice the onion, top and tail it, take that outer skin off. I know lots of you out there are great cooks. This is just to help with sometimes, you know, we get a bit stuck and we think, what are we going to eat today? So, for any of the kids who were in the uh, Stephanie Alexander cooking, you'll remember this. This is the bridge pose. We hold it over the top. And we slice through. And then remember we have the claw pose. So we can hold it and we keep our, the tips of our fingers away from the onion. There'll be lots of experienced cooks supervising us at home. This is one that we'll do only if there's an adult around. And there we have our diced onion. Okay, be careful at the end so we don't get our knuckles. Done. Okay everybody, we've got our pasta cooked, we've got our colander and we're going to drain the pasta into the colander. This is um, definitely a job for an adult. All the water coming out. I'm just going to let that drain there and we'll bring it back to here. And we haven't, we've cooked that for about seven minutes because we don't want it overly cooked because it's got to go in the oven again, yeah, and it will cook there. Here we have the butter melting in the pan. This is the start of making our white sauce, also known as a roux. We've just melted the butter, so now we're going to add the onion in there very, very gently. Make sure you're standing back so it doesn't splash on you. So the carrots, the onions in. Now we'll add the carrots 
and stir it all together. Oh, beautiful, it smells amazing. Now we're going to add one tablespoon of flour into the mixture and stir it until it goes into a paste. So mixing it all together so there's no visible flour. Here we have one and a quarter cup of milk. We are going to gradually add that in and mix it together. Looking good. Oh, look at that color, it smells amazing too. It's getting better and better. Okay. Okay, in the recipe it did say to put in a tin of corn. We don't have any tins of corn here today. Um, but we do have some mixed veggies, so we're going to pop those in instead of the tin of corn. And there's lots of peas in there. And then we're going to also add the tuna, which I've drained all the liquid from. It goes straight in. And a bit of a stir. And this is looking good for our tuna casserole. Now, our mixture is going into the baking Dishes. And that's ready for some cheese and some breadcrumbs to go on top before it goes in the oven. And I've just put the cheese on top of our pasta mixture. Now we're going to add some breadcrumbs on top. Now if you don't have any breadcrumbs at home, that's okay. Just grab some bread, chop it up, and throw that on top. Voila. Beautiful. And then you pop that in the oven. Kansas families, we've had lots of fun today from our kitchen to yours. We hope you get to make this at home, but we do have an opportunity for you to perhaps win this. And the challenge is, what type of fish do you think is in this recipe? Put your comments below and we look forward to reading them. Stay healthy, stay safe. Remember to wash your hands. Thank you.